Good day, learners! Welcome to our reading and writing class. By the way, I am Miss Rochelle Ceresos, and you can call me Mom Say. It is very essential for us to begin our day with the presence of the Lord. So before we start our lesson, let us first ask for the guidance of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we humbly thank you for all the blessings you have given us. We ask you to surround us with your grace and love. Bless us with hope so that we can move into the future with eagerness and open hearts. Help us to put the knowledge, the skills, and insights gained through this lesson to use for the good of all humankind. Inspire us to believe in the goodness of life even when faced with challenges and difficulties. Come with us today, fill our hearts with joy and gratitude. We pray that you continue to be with us and guide us as we move through this beautiful world you created. All of this we ask in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son. Amen. Hey learners, today you are not only going to learn about the explanation of our topic, but you are also going to enhance your reading skills. Alright, I think you are all prepared and ready to learn our new lesson for today. And before we formally begin our class, I want you to prepare the following things. Kindly prepare your notes or notebook, your pen or your ball pen. And for the rules, please my dear students, kindly listen carefully, listen attentively, and avoid distractions. For our today's objectives, we are going to define cause and effect, identify cause and effect in a text, and to understand the importance of cause and effect in reading. Can you describe picture one? What can you say about picture one? Wow, very good! So you can see trees, you can see an axe, and as you have mentioned, the trees were cut. Very good. What about picture number two? What is happening in the picture number two? Amazing, very good. So in the picture number two, there is flood and the houses are flooded. The city is flooded, very good. So you have mentioned the city is flooded, very good. Take a look on the pictures again and form sentences. Okay, so in picture number one, we form a sentence that describes this picture and it is the trees were cut. And then in the picture number two, we form a sentence that is the city is flooded. Okay, so we have formed two sentences based from the two pictures. The trees were cut and the city is flooded. And now, let us combine the two pictures and the two sentences that describe the pictures. Okay, the trees were cut so the city is flooded. Okay. Another sentence. Anyone? Okay. What did you say? The city is flooded because the trees were cut. Wow! Very good! Congratulations! Your answer is precise. Moving on, what we did has something to do with our lesson for today. Because our lesson for today is one of the patterns of development in reading and writing and that is the cause and effect. Everyday conversation, we use cause and effect. How? Whenever we tell a story to our family, loved ones, friends, or acquaintances, we use the cause and effect relationship because we tell them what happened to us and why it happened to us. Similarly, writers and authors use cause and effect in what we are reading 
to show what events occur and why they occur. Recognizing the cause and effect in a story will help us readers to understand what we are reading. And also, cause and effect is a text element that gives us, the readers, an insight about what the author is thinking. Cause and effect relationship is arranged in a way that shows the relationship of the result and the action that preceded. We often also see cause and effect relationship in movies and games and as well as in subjects science and social study. Understanding cause and effect relationship can help us improve our reading comprehension. My dear learners, during this lesson, I am going to model and help you identify cause and effect in reading a passage or in reading a text. Now let us define cause and effect. So let us first define cause. What is a cause? Anyone? Okay. Very good. Cause is reason. What about effect? What is effect? Yes. Okay. Nice. Effect is result. To explain further, a cause is a why an event or an action occurred. And effect is what happened as a result of an event or an action. And now let's have examples of cause and effect relationship statements. So the first cause and effect statement is Amanda study, she got high grades. Okay? So as you can see, the cause is Amanda studied and the effect, she got high grades. Okay? So you can see that what happened when Amanda studied, okay? She got high grades, okay? Or because Amanda studied, she got high grades. Another statement is, Amanda was hungry, she had snacks, okay? So you can see the cause is, Amanda was hungry, and the effect, she had snacks. So why did Amanda have snacks? Because she was hungry. So you can say that the cause is she was hungry. That is why the effect she had snacks. There are signal words that help us identify cause and effect when we are reading. Moreover, signal words help us connect ideas in a passage or in a text. Identifying signal words help us to recognize which statement is the cause and which statement is the effect. However, it is very important to take note and remember that not all uses of these words have cause and effect relationship in a text or in a sentence. That is why it is very important for us readers to not only look for the signal words but also to read the whole passage or the text and for us to determine whether these signal words identify the cause and effect relationship or whether the signal words connect cause and effect relationship in a text or in a passage. So there are signal words for cause and there are also signal words that show the effect. These are the signal words that show cause. We have because of, since, as, as a result, for, due to, and now that. And for the effect, we have the signal words so, therefore, as a result, this resulted in, then and consequently. And now it is time for us to identify the cause and effect relationships with the signal word. So we have here, because I had the flu, I stayed at home. So let us identify the cause using the signal word or let us define the cause by identifying the signal word. So we have here, because I had the flu, I stayed at home. So where is the signal word or what is rather the signal word? So the signal word in this sentence is because. Okay, so this signal word because show us the reason why I stayed at home. I had the flu is the cause and the effect I stayed 
at home. Okay, did you get it? Okay, very good. Now, I am going to apply what I have learned about cause and effect in reading a passage or in reading a text. In doing so, I am going to use a graphic organizer. So, as you can see, these boxes have the causes and in this boxes are the effects, okay? And causes are directly connected to the effects. So, I am going to read a passage and then I am going to identify which is the cause and which is the effect by using the graphic organizer. So, now I am going to identify cause and effect relationship in a text, okay? So, let me read this text. People throw their trash and dirt on the road. As a result, the earth is being damaged and natural treasures and resources are being ruined. So I can see a cause and effect relationship with the two sentences. Okay, so let me begin by identifying the signal word used in this sentences. So I can see the signal word as a result which show or which shows the effects okay so the effect is the earth is being damaged and natural treasures and resources are being ruined so that is the effect the signal word as a result show the effect and the cause people throw their trash and dirt on the road okay now that I was able to identify which the cause is and which the effect is now I am going to write them in this graphic organizer okay so I am going to write cause okay people throw their trash and dirt on the road and the effect as a result the earth is being damaged and natural resources are being ruined Okay, another example is letting alcohol take control over your life has many adverse effects on a person and the people around them. So one important effect is the damage to one's body. So in this text, I can identify that the cause is letting alcohol take control over your life. And the effect is one important effect is the damage to one's body so as you can see here in the text there is no signal word use but if you are going to comprehend and read the text carefully you are going to know which is the cause and which is the effect based from the connection of the ideas in the text okay and now my dear students it's your turn to identify the cause and effect in this passage so let us read the passage all together when people pollute rivers they destroy the habitats of fish this reduces the number of fish that can reproduce as a result fewer fish are born in fresh water and the fish population declines okay so now my dear students it's your time to identify which is the cause or the causes okay okay what is it have you identified the cause yes my dear okay very good so people pollute rivers is the cause what about the effect so I can see not only one effect here okay anyone okay yes so what is the effect or the first effect when people pollute rivers yes okay very good they destroy the habitats of fish another one or another effect yes amazing so another effect is this reduces the number of fish that can reproduce okay very good and another effect is yes okay very good fewer fish are born in fresh water and we have the last effect when people pollute rivers the last effect is okay very good 
the fish population declines. Wow, I am so happy and proud of you, my dear students, because you were able to identify the cause and the effects in this passage or in this reading text. I am very delighted that you already know how to identify cause and effect in a text. That is why let us have another example, okay? So here is another text. This is a short text and let us read it all together again. Some animals are endangered due to these causes. Pollution, loss of home environment due to destruction of their habitat, weather and disease okay my dear students could you please identify the cause anyone okay very good so the cause is pollution is it only a one cause okay yes very good so there are still many causes okay so what are those causes okay all right so we also have loss of home environment due to the destruction of their habitat weather and disease okay so these are the causes very good my dear students so let me reiterate your answers so we have pollution loss of home environment due to destruction of their habitat weather and disease as the causes in this reading text okay and then what about the effect what is the effect yes okay very good so the effect is some animals are endangered very good so in this reading passage some animals are endangered because of pollution loss of home environment due to destruction of their habitat weather and disease okay so uh, my dear students as your teacher i am here to let you know that please do not pollute let us take care of our mother earth and as well as take care of the animals okay so let us contribute meaningfully and beautifully to our nation and to our country and also to the world and the universe okay so now it's time to test your comprehension about our today's lesson so we will be having a quiz and here are our instructions so we have write down the answer on a notepad so my dear learners please bring out your notepad and write your answers on them and then second of course no cheating always be honest for honesty always comes with success okay and then third questions will be flashed for 45 seconds did you get the instructions okay that's good so let's move on so part one of your quiz is true or false so we only have three items here so it's really easy for you so i hope you get the correct answers the first item is effect is the reason why something happened true or false again effect is the reason why something happened true or false the second item is cause is the result of an event or an action that took place true or false again cause is the result of an event or an action that took place true or false last item cost and effect relationship helps the readers in reading a text true or false again cause and effect relationship helps the readers in reading a text true or false okay so after answering the part one of your quiz we are now moving to the part two of your quiz and we have here a passage entitled effects of video game addiction of course you are going to read and analyze as well as comprehend this passage and answer the following questions prepared here we have what is the cause what is the effect and lastly what does this passage tells us okay so i am going to give you 15 minutes to do this one good luck 
Okay, thank you so much for doing that activity, my learner. So, before we end this day and this lesson, let me just ask you a few questions. So, what have you learned from this lesson? Yes? Okay, very good. So, you have learned reading and its importance. Okay, so once again, reading is very important because it helps our minds. It also enhances our language skills as well as our comprehension skills that can help us to real life context. Okay, what about another learnings from you, my dear learners? Yes? Okay, very good. So you have learned cause and effect and its concept. Okay, what have you learned about it? Yes? Wow, that is nice. So you have learned that cause and effect is also essential in reading because it is a literacy tool that helps us comprehend what we are reading and it helps us comprehend the actions and reactions that occur. And also, cause and effect helps us enhance our reading and comprehension skills. Very good! Okay, and then last question, what else have you learned? Okay, last call for my students who is going to answer this question. What have I learned or what have you learned? Okay, yes? Okay, very good. So, you have learned that identifying cause and effect will be much easier with the use of signal words and graphic organizers. Very good. So, I'm really happy and delighted that you, my dear learners, have really learned a lot from today's lesson. Always remember, my dear learners, to always strive for success. And always remember that reading is very important because reading is a lifelong skill. So, once again, I am your teacher, Rochelle C. Resos, and see you in our next lesson.